I went through my stash of amber once again and I found this piece. And why I'm so happy? It's a, just a small piece of Baltic amber, right? Nothing special, except not because there is inclusion in it. And this looks like a tiny spider. I'm not sure this piece is uh, around now. I did make a window to see the inclusion better, but I think it's a jumping spider. I'm not sure at the moment. We will see only when I will cut it out polished up and put it under the microscope. So let's, let's not waste any time, because he waited for me for 50 million years, so we can see him and admire him. Floats in water. <laughs> Don't even need salt, because it's very light. Uh, all right, how are we going to cut it? I think I will do make this side perfectly flat, this side perfectly flat, this side also perfectly flat. I have to be careful about this other side because this is where the spider is and this layer is in the way. So yeah, this layer can, can keep us uh, from seeing it clearly, but I will make also this side flat. The only side I should be careful without making super flat is this side because it's quite close from this uh, side. So yeah, it's gonna be a, a fast prep. Let's go. We have to take a little bit more aggressive tip. One side is done, not perfectly flat, but it's quite flat. So yeah, ne next side, let's take the bottom side. And yeah, we need this aggressive uh, tip to make it flat fast. Perfect. Now this side is where we should be careful. And the last side. Maybe I shouldn't be so careful as I was thinking, because where is the spider? Let's find it. There we go. From this side we can see better where it is. So this black thingy is the spider, so we can... Well, not much, but yeah. Let's remove a bit of this side. Enough. That's enough. Now this side. Yeah, that was fast. We are done dremeling. I don't need this tool anymore. Everything else will be done manually for security reasons are and because I just don't have any other tools to use for this stage. So yeah, what now? I'm quite hesitant removing the rest of this layer from this side because I don't know how far the spider is. So we will now use the sun sandpaper of 1500 grit to see better from each side so we can figure out what's next. Let's go. 1,500. The spider is visible again. 
Yep, yeah, this is properly sanded, so other side now. This one, yep. Okay, so what do we see? Hmm, what is this? That's weird. I think the spider is uh, okay, but yeah, I think what is happening here, it was two inclusions instead of one. And this first one could be a little bit damaged, which was on the very layer of this ember. Very hard to tell what I'm looking at right now. Maybe it's some sort of prey that the spider had in, in, the, jaw, in the jaws. I'm not sure. Let's finish up the sides and we are, we are golden. And we are done with 1,800. We have this nice uh, shape, very transparent, very easy to pre-polish. Now what's left is basically pre-polishing it with 2,000 and 2,500 sandpapers and polishing it up. So yeah, and I will do it off screen so you don't have to watch the, you know, not interesting part. Final step, let's remove the polishing paste. I think we managed to get fairly decent polish on this piece of amber considering it was polished manually. Baltic amber is truly special material. This particular piece have very pleasant light yellow color with some orange flow lines inside. Spider is in the flow lines as well, but that's a negative for checking the details on the spider. Ship is very basic with flat surfaces which help to easily pre-polish the piece. It's almost unrecognizable compared to the state before. Finally, the moment has arrived. I have prepared the microscope yeah, and we have this beautiful, beautiful shiny piece. First, I think let's weight it to see how much it weighs or how little because it's really tiny. Hooping 0.7 grams, so yeah, as expected, not even one gram, but it doesn't matter because what matters is what, what's inside. I'm super curious what's inside, so let's start from the back side and put it on the plastiline and under the microscope. Let's adjust a little bit of lights. So I've got a tip from Arturi that when using a mirror underneath the inclusion there will be more light from all the sides so let's try that because uh, at, the, at this point there is not enough light so yeah <laughs> kind of cool shot. Right from the beginning there is night and day difference in the inclusion details after placing the mirror under the inclusion. And looking at the photos, first thing I see is that I didn't wipe off the polishing paste properly. Another thing, I was wrong about it being a jumping spider. And that's not the only thing I was wrong about. There is not two inclusions, single spider in this piece, which is most likely damaged from the other side. 
Holy moly, the trick with the mirror is working really well. Thank you Arturi for the tip. The photo has turned out a lot better than without the mirror. Yeah, now let's put it on the other side and see what's going on from the other sides. Yep, light refraction inside of Ember did some tricks on my mind. There is a single inclusion, a spider with damaged legs from the other side. They were gone from the very start as I barely removed any material from this particular side. Spider itself is tiny, around 3mm in body length, and it's positioned side to the macro lens. I can't see its face and the eyes to try and get an identification for this tiny arachnid. Close-ups on the legs look quite cool, but that's about it. Still fascinating to see the critter trapped in fossilized raisin. And yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and bye!